So I've been asking the universe for signs because I'm feeling really suicidally depressed some of the time. When I wake up, halfway through the day, I have body pains. It's really awful. Basically, I feel like I've turned into a bit of a rapid cycler to sum it up, which just came to mind. And asking the universe for signs and I went into the washroom and there was this plant that I associate with California. It's the one that kind of looks like a bird head. And then I was sitting in, I was sitting at the park for hours and I was sitting in outside for hours in this outdoor mall and this guy started talking to me and then basically wanting to pick me up, um, you know, ask for my number and such. And then I went to Starbucks and I was sitting there and I was listening to Master Dion V. Mall, some of his lectures on his app. And I've been having a lot of, uh, a lot of trouble focusing on anything, like just going through YouTube and listening to different things and watching different things of all range of stuff and feeling really not being able to pay attention to any of it, like just switching after a minute, just switch, switch, switch. And so I was listening to some of his stuff in Starbucks and sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. And then all of a sudden in walks somebody and I had the sense of like, it's somebody, even though I didn't even see who it was. And it's like, I knew it was somebody before I even saw who it really was. And it was Lights, the singer, and I'm a big fan. And I, walk up, I walked up to her and I told her, like I didn't want to pester her, but I just walked up to her and I said, sorry to bother you, I'm a really big fan and I'm feeling really suicidally depressed right now and um, I just wanted to come up and say hi and it's really exciting to meet you right now. And you know, she said, oh, there's always hope. And I said, I saw you at the Peony and she was talking about something about how she thought the Ferris wheel was a rocket ship or I can't remember. I was just sort of mesmerized by her face, but I forgot to tell her that I bought a ticket to see, I think it was Coldplay just because she was opening. So that's how much of a fan I am. And she didn't even play that much, but it was, I just bought the tickets to see Coldplay just to see lights. I'm not a Coldplay fan. So, yeah, that was like, I'm not a celebrity person. So of all the celebrities that could walk in, I think she's the one that I'd be most excited to see, even though I wasn't like freak out excited. Just like I said, I've been asking for a sign from God and I think you're it. So thank you. And she was very sweet. And yeah, that was really cool. Like I, I think she's the only celebrity I've ever followed on like Instagram. And I don't even think I do that right now. But then I had a sense that it's kind of sad because right now I feel really isolated and I don't feel like sharing it. Like I'm not big on Facebook or anything. And I, yeah, I was just like, oh, there's a few people I could share this with, but it feels kind of strange to be really depressed and then to be like, oh, look who I just met. Kind of want to just sort of keep it to myself and just be like, wow, like I was looking for light, looking for kind of enlightenment and in walks lights while I'm listening to Master Dion Vimal. And I had a ticket to see him last week and I saw one of two of his talks because I wasn't feeling good the Friday but I can go see him more personally on the 29th so I think it's kind of a sign you know teacher of enlightenment talking and then in walks lights the celebrity 
and he was talking about finding that inner happiness which has nothing to do with the world and I'm just having trouble with like worldly stuff right now and and I did have a sense of what he was talking about and then in walks lights and I didn't even know why I was still sitting there I was in Starbucks for probably like over two hours so yeah interesting day and it, it kind of speaks to the the rapid cycling like in the morning I wake up I'm just like oh my god like I don't I don't want to be here Ugh. and then I was still feeling like that and then I just was like I gotta leave and like being outside in some way helps like I went to a park my favorite park and there was this event going on so the parking lot was full like usually there's one or two cars there's like hundreds of cars and so I didn't want to lay on the grass so I just parked my car in front of the trees and I was just sort of looking at the trees like the trees are a through my window, through my windshield, and it's just like a movie, just watching these trees kind of sway in the wind, and they don't really have any leaves on them yet. There's like a few buds on like the smaller sort of bushes. And then, um, and then I had my door open a bit because it was a little bit too warm, just letting the air in, and a couple of flies came in and they're just sort of hanging out and like you know eating stuff off my pants I think some of it was like leftover Tim Hortons sour cream glaze that I'd wiped on my pants and they were eating it and other things so yeah the flies were hanging out and they were eating a little bit off of this and they weren't afraid of me and it just reminded me of years ago when the flies weren't afraid of me and one crawled on my finger when I put it on my pants and then you know then they weren't really wanting to land on my finger but they'd only fly a little bit away and yeah that was kind of my sign from Awa and then I met lights so it's just really strange all this different level of stuff happening from feeling like I'm just gonna jump off the side of the parkade to meeting lights so I think that means that I'm supposed to keep going she said there's always hope so you know you gotta believe lights that there's always hope. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and lights was at Starbucks. Oddly enough today being at the outdoor mall I felt kind of like happy-ish. It just kind of feels like California. So I felt like I was sort of in California consciousness, even though I'm not in California and missing California. I just, I don't think I really can exist here. I think something about California. So I left one of the flies in my car because he wanted to come with me and I left the window open a crack so he could leave but he's still in here somewhere. I wonder if he's going to come with me now. in here it's interesting because today I watched a TED talk 
called Do You See the Signs of the Universe by this lady. Ula Suko. And she talked about asking the universe for a sign. And I watched the whole TED Talk. This is... That was a screenshot from my history today. It's one of the only full YouTube videos I've been able to get through in a while. And yeah, I watched that. So I was asking the universe for a sign and I saw the California type bird plant. And then I was sitting in Starbucks for so long and listening to Master Dion B. Mall. And, and in walks lights. And if I, if that's not a sign, I'm not a celebrity person and I don't like follow people or like I'm a fan, but I, I did tell her how I saw her at the PE and she said that was 2013. And the other thing I just remember too was the first time I was in the psych ward in 2011 when I would be able to go home for a little bit on a pass just for like an hour or two. I would literally just sit at my desk on my computer and um, watch Light's video of her song Toes and Avril Lavigne singing What the Hell on AOL sessions. I don't know why, but I would just watch those. And Celine Dion, of course. But I would just watch on repeat. For some reason, I found them to be Uh, just sort of, I guess, comforting and beautiful to watch. And Light's video, Toes, that was her first music video, and I just couldn't stop watching it. And it's interesting because I talk about feeling like being back at the beginning, but not having the same level of support. Like, sort of not quite being bad enough to go to the psych ward like it's bad really intense and then it's not as bad and i feel okay and it's like not as like always bad enough to just go and be like i need to be in the hospital people who are in the hospital are struggling like all the time and how you know i had like a little friendly encounter with the flies today which was something that happened before and also, I would watch Lights video, and today I met Lights. So, I just, it is kind of a sign, I think. Just like one time I was struggling, and it was so bad. And I look down, and I see a four-leaf clover. And I'd never found or seen a four-leaf clover before, and I just sort of, like, looked straight down and saw the four-leaf clover, so I felt like, the sign that you know it's the good and the bad like mixed in so I think it's a sign that I should go see Dion V Mall next week and and I don't know I'm not sure what else Look at the light. Yeah, so. Hopefully it's not one of those things like, oh, here's something that you would want before, like as a bucket list thing. I guess it can be interpreted any way.
yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I need to keep going. So thank you, Lights, for giving me some hope and being a sign from God. Anything can be a sign from God, like the fly hanging out with me and being comfortable and feeling safe with me was a sign from God. And earlier in the day, I did step on this bug in my house these ones that kind of crawl around like and then there was another one and I kind of stepped on it too I don't like to kill anything but the other one it didn't die and it, I noticed that it had walked away and then I noticed that the bug that was injured was standing right beside the bug that was killed and I was just like, oh my God, like these poor bugs, they obviously have feelings. So, you know, started off the day feeling suicidal, not getting showered and cleaned properly, stepping on a poor innocent bug. And then almost stepping on another, I could go out there and see if they're both dead. And if the other one stayed by the one that was dead, you know, these, all, all beings that have sentience have feelings. And this is part of what I'm having trouble with is because I feel like I can't even move because I don't want to do anything bad or influence anyone in a bad way. But also, yesterday and today, I feel like this hate in my heart for particular people. And I don't want to feel that way. But it's there and it's really awful. And I know that it's it's just damaging my own brain. Like this hate, it destroys our own self. So I don't really know what to do about it. But I think, you know, I need to do something. I'm just having trouble living where I'm living. Like I, I just don't really, it's just not my favorite right now. You know, I need, it'd be good if I was in a hospital for a little while and just like let this, let this go. It's hard to let it go when people are around, you know, that can get projected on. So then it's sort of just sort of coming back at me and, you know, it's not something that I really feel comfortable talking about or talking out. Like, these people aren't safe people to, like, have a conversation with and, like, work stuff out. It's just concentrated in me. And so I'm thinking about trying a family constellation therapy. It's pretty expensive. But, you know, maybe it could be good. It might help to release some things that I feel are sort of stuck in me. Stuck in my being. And I might try to talk with Trevor Isley as well. I forgot to say, because I haven't been talking to myself, but I forgot to say that, that the other night when I was falling asleep, I had this weird experience where all of a sudden it felt like I was being sort of like crushed by energy, like, bzzz, and it was like crushing me on both sides. And it was kind of scary and I couldn't move. 
And part of me didn't want to move and part of me wanted to move to stop it. But then I felt like I just want to let it do what it's going to do. And if it's going to like kill me or whatever, just go ahead. But I didn't move and then I guess I eventually fell asleep. And I just realized I hadn't been taking melatonin to fall asleep. I guess I forgot because I forget stuff now. Forgetting to take care of myself. Not knowing how.